Yeah, I think part of it is we're kind of conditioned to assume that the government hides information from us, right? right? Oftentimes not uh, for any necessary national security reasons, just because it's such a large operation and they just, it can sometimes seem very um, whimsical or capricious why they don't, you know, provide some level of disclosure on about things. But, but uh, I think with, with Grush, I think, here's my take on it. I think he believes what he's saying, right? I think he has gone out there. I think I'm legit. Look, he was a, f whatever, 14-year veteran of the military and, and the National Reconnaissance Office. And, and I think he went out and he talked to enough people and he, uh, he believes it. I don't think he's out there like spinning a, a yarn and is worried that now he's gotten over his skis and he's said, you know, too many things. And now he, I, but, um, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't feel like it's tidy. And maybe the difference between us is I, I spent, you know, a lot of time with the government and, um, the government is, is, uh, is sometimes can be really, really, um, uh, dysfunctional. And I just, it goes back to keeping a secret. The idea that they could have this, this, what essentially is a covert action campaign, you know, to spread this information about what they actually know, right? When the easier thing to do is just to have the program, you know, if, if, if again, if it's, it's the U.S. government's, you know, development of technology, right, and, and, and we're doing this, to have the program and just keep your app shut about it, not go for a disinformation campaign, not try to muddy the waters by doing this, because in a sense, you're just creating more conversation around it. You're creating, you know, now there's a little bit of a, you know, movement within Congress to say we have to do this. Now we have to. So they're going to look perhaps for a misappropriation of funds, right? Because mm -hmm. they're not going to pursue like the UAP issue necessarily, right? But but they might be interested in pursuing the misappropriation of funds. So if you're running a program, if it, if it didn't, again, going back to the idea that it's a U.S. government thing, if you're running a program, that's the last thing you want to do is because you've, you're, you're doing this program to avoid government oversight, you're not going to create you know, this alternative narrative that, you know, could generate the sort of publicity or the conversation, particularly up on Capitol Hill, that causes them to then start looking and saying, well, where is money being spent? Right. Right. Because there is a trail there and that could right. cause a problem. Um, so, yeah. Um, what, so what yeah. are your instincts when you look at it? If I'm, um, if I'm looking at it, I'm saying something's wrong. It seems like bullshit. What, mm -hmm. is, what, are, what are your instincts? Um, yeah, I, I think... I would like to, you know, I don't think we're going to get there. But my instinct would, is to say, how do we solve the, how do we solve this, or how do we, how do we come to some sort of uh, logical resolution, as opposed to saying what is it right off the bat. My instinct is to say, all right, if the all domain anomalous or anomaly resolution office has 800 cases, then tell us what those 800 cases are. Let's work our way through them or have a little bit more transparency about working through those cases. Again, you'll probably whittle them down, right, to – I mean, we were doing black files and we were going around talking to people about, you know, various sightings and things. You're basically just crossing things off, going, okay, that was this, that was this, that was mm -hmm. this. You know, you find some pretty mundane answers, you know. But you whittle it down to maybe one or two things that you can't explain. And then you can investigate those and say, okay, well, all right, let's, let's dig further on these. But right now it's just like all over the map and they've got so many – cases and they just kind of lump it all together um are they doing that to to obfuscate and create you know uh, this 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 situation where it, it does seem like bullshit and and i again i i i don't know but i think um i'm not willing to shut the door on saying that that those handful of those few sightings that where we do have technical data, we got video, we got you know radar lock, we got we got gun camera footage, whatever it may be, that can't be explained. I'm not willing to close the door and saying, well, it's you know, you know, is because who knows? Maybe China's doing the same thing. You know, oh, we're leading the hypersonic race right now. Great, but they've got another program, you know, and they were responsible for the Tic Tac, right? So we 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 have to pursue it, and if that leads us to the doorstep that says, oh, that's a U.S. government program and they've developed the technology, okay. You know, fine, but you know, I realize that. You know, I, I just, 
I'm not willing to close the door on saying it could be something else. It could be the other world lead, right? Because I just, yeah. I just don't it know. It could be. It could be. I just there, don't know. There yeah, is who a, knows? that problem of yeah. the infinite nature of space, which seems to actually be getting bigger. Yeah, there was yeah. a good way of putting it that, uh, that uh, uh, my wife, who's uh, a hell of a lot smarter than I am, um, tried to explain it to me, and I kept looking at it like this. And she, and, but she had, heard a, she had heard a program at one point where the, the person explained it like, okay, imagine how vast the ocean is, right? And, you know, how you, 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 we've explored the ocean. But then you look at space and how immense it is, right, compared to the ocean, right? Right. The amount that we've explored in space, right, is equivalent to like a wine glass full of ocean water, right? So you take a wine glass full of ocean water, you look at it and you go, eh, there's nothing there, right? right? You know, there's all those life forms, <laughs> there's all, that, right. all those fish in the sea. It's kind of like that. And then, you know, you think about space and you think about what we know and what we don't know and how we imagine, like our limited capacity to imagine what life outside of Earth could look like. Right. So it, it yeah. But when you hear talk of like crashed retrieval programs. Yeah, that that keeps taking me back and is, you know, to this this whole idea of. Um, if there was a crash retrieval and reverse engineering program like David Grush talked about and had been in existence for decades, um, somebody would have fucking opened their yap and talked about it. I think I, other that's, than Bob Lazar. Other than Bob Lazar, and they would have had some better specifics, right? I mean, that's always the thing. That's it's always where it falls down. Well, I haven't seen it, but I talked to somebody who knows that it exists, right? And I think maybe it's because we're human, we're programmed to actually want physical evidence, yeah. right? We want to actually see it before we believe it. Um, but, you know, that, that really hasn't happened yet. What's one of the things that's fascinating is the narrative has shifted so wildly from it's completely preposterous to credible people like David Fravor and Ryan Graves and all these different people that are talking about multiple sightings, things that completely defy our understanding of what a vehicle is capable of doing, hovering yeah. completely motionless in 120 knot winds, uh, all the, the whole, you know, whatever that thing is, the, the cube inside a sphere that they keep yeah. seeing over and over again. Right. Like, Almost well, hit one of the aircraft. Yeah. You know, and, what and, the yeah. fuck is that? Yeah. And then they land. So I think, you know, one of the good developments out of all of this, and one of the things that may eventually lead to transparency, right, because it will... It will provide an avenue for these sightings, whether it's commercial or military pilots, as an example, to report it, right? And to be more, and, and, and for the government to take it, perhaps, you know, again, it depends on whether, <laughs> whether it's a big conspiracy or not, to, um, to investigate in a, in, a, in a more logical manner.